Good morning. It's about 6 a.m. My alarm has been ringing since 5 a.m. I've been pressing snooze. Bad. I always get up this early, so it's normal. It's not because I'm going away, but yeah, my flight isn't until 9 p.m. today, but I really want to squeeze in one last workout at the gym before I leave. So I really need to get up now. <laughs> um, I didn't sleep very well. I had a lot of weird dreams. Mm. So weird not having my cat waking me up. My mom came and picked him up yesterday so he can stay at her place while I'm away. And it's really, really lonely without him. <laughs> I felt really emotional yesterday. Hmm. I'm sorry about the strobe lights, by the way. I've got my alarm light. Oh, you know what I mean. It turns gradually on until it's time to wake up. And now it's like fully on. <laughs> okay. I need to get up. Get some breakfast. Yeah, go to the gym, and I still haven't packed my suitcase. But my flight is like in the afternoon, so I still have a bit of time. And I've noticed that I've got things missing, so hopefully I can go to the shops real quick today and find what I need. Okay. Enough of that. I need to get up. Oh. I'm doing one last face mask uh, before getting on a plane and I washed my hair, as you can see, which might not have been a great idea seeing that I'm gonna be on a stinky, dirty plane. Um, picked out my outfit. As you can see here, I'm wearing this really oversized sweater jumper thing that I got from the men's section at Primark. <laughs> yeah. And I'm wearing just normal leggings today uh, because I'm afraid that my legs will swell up in the plane because I have really... Well, my entire family has poor circulation, as do I. So if I wear skinny jeans, I'm afraid I won't be comfortable. So even though this outfit would look better with a pair of skinny jeans, I'm choosing comfort over looks today and same after this mask I'm probably not gonna slab on a full face of makeup I'm just gonna do my eyebrows uh, put some under eye concealer maybe a bit of blush maybe a bit of mascara but I'm not gonna put like something that can melt off my face after a long flight yes indeed so waiting for the face mask to do its thing gonna wash it off and then I still haven't packed my suitcase and I have to prepare a couple of things. So really nervous, really not rushed for time, but I'm gonna need to start really getting this packing thing finalized and stop procrast and stop procrastinating because this trip is happening. No putting it off, it's happening. I can't just hide in my apartment for three weeks and pretend I didn't go because I said I would film, I said I would take pictures, and I said I would do it, so I'm gonna do it, and I'm freaking out, but it's gonna be awesome.
on the runway. For those who didn't know, I used to work as a junior cabin crew for a few months. Hated it, that's why it didn't last very long, but seeing all these planes take off again, it kind of stresses me out. But I don't know why. I used to love flying. I haven't flown since my job, so it's been like at least two or three years since I've flown. And seeing the static planes like preparing for boarding reminds me of pre-boarding departures and it's a little like eh. Hopefully once I'm sitting down on my passenger seat, I'll have relaxed because my brain will have realized that I'm not working. So this is clearly my plane. Yeah. It's the right company and I think they're it's not like it's first flight of the day, definitely. It's the evening, so they're offloading. You can see over here the sky chefs, they're offloading the old meals and putting in the new ones. And um, it's so weird waiting in, in front of a gate. I haven't done that in ages. I used to come with a airport taxi and they would drop us off at the correct area. And we would climb on through those little stairs right there climb on board actually not those stairs but usually it's the front door that one the left front door and we climb on and start our procedure and uh, I'm so happy I'm not doing that anymore I think my biggest fear is just like doing something stupid and everybody judging me for it I don't know it's weird I don't like people judging me I'm one of those but so far security TSA all that went really well I found a water fountain and filled my bottle my bottle up with water which is good because I'm absolutely parched from being a little nervous and queuing and everything went well so far so far so good so I'm really happy I'm doing all the airport hacks and I'm here really really early so now I'm just gonna chill at the gate and um, wait for boarding I think I just I have about two hours to wait or something but yeah I prefer to be early because I actually missed my train to the airport which is because of the, um, because of the, because there were strikes awesome but luckily I left super early so now I'm good She's just going on and on, and I know I look a mess, and I don't know why it isn't focusing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just wanted to say I landed, I got my JR pass. I am disgusting and sweaty, and it's way too hot for to be wearing this jumper, but I'll just have to wait. So now I'm gonna take the Narita Express into Tokyo, into Ikebukuro, and then from there I'm gonna get a metro to my inn, and hopefully I don't get lost. I'm kind of hiding here behind this pillar because even though it's like the airport everybody's still looking at me like what is this foreign girl that looks tired AF doing and by, I didn't sleep on the plane I tried and just a nightmare but it's, it's the evening soon so I'm gonna get to sleep soon I just gotta stick to the local schedule and I think I'll be fine I'm gonna try a vending machine because I need some change and I have no clue what these are, <laughs> but we're gonna try it out. So, how do you think that works? I guess you choose one, and then I don't know how that works. are really thin and there are multiple dorms today. I'm in the only 
a girl only dorm and I'll have to switch around the next few days because there wasn't enough room but this place is friggin amazing it's gorgeous it's um, like this got it's got this traditional feel that they've recreated so it's really cool right now I haven't slept since uh, the night before my departure I'm kind of exhausted but also I can feel my body trying to wake itself up so I'm gonna go to sleep it's like 10 p.m. here in Japan uh, in Tokyo, Japan guys and I'm gonna try and sleep in this dorm I don't know how it's gonna go because it's 27 degrees here and it's I've never felt so humid I think something coming somebody's coming yeah it's very humid I'm gonna go to sleep now hope I can manage to charge up my batteries for tomorrow literally see you soon